Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is not AGS. This is Quickshell. This is a rewrite of N4 in Quickshell. And all I did was basically uh, hurried along a little bit with a push. Um, I took the dock from somewhere and I kind of made it work. And I'm going to show you how. I'm going to try to go over this as much detail as possible because I know you guys like it when I do that for some reason, even though I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Shouldn't have said that, but it's true. I don't. So if I add in a common functions, you'll notice there's an icon.js. If we look in here, you'll notice that I had to manually tell it where the icons are, because if I don't do that, watch what happens. You notice the icon's gone. It gets replaced by some ugly weird thing. I also had to add the blur, the transparency, and everything else. Uh, moving everything over, there's no weather, which I kind of don't like. And I don't like the fact that these are not colored. Makes me a bit mad, but I'll figure that out later. But as you can see, I'm able to fix the missing icons in the most weird way imaginable. Now, we close this down. I'll show you some other stuff. So this is the dock, okay? Uh, in here is, you know, the implementation for the arc menu button, it's right there. And again, that's set here. So you can actually go in and change this to whatever you want, right? Because it's a part of stuff. That's not even needed. I don't even know why it does that. But yeah, uh, press it and that pops up. So, you know, you can change the size of it, do whatever you need to. Uh, there's anchors and stuff, dock height, like off the ground, I believe, or dock items layout width. Uh, this controls, if I am correct, the transparency. Yes. So if we put that back up to seven, it looks like that. If we do 6.5, it looks like that. And there's shadows. I have them currently disabled. There's math roundings and so on. There's a bunch of stuff in here that, uh, like, look, we can make this go all the way up to 15. Recommend it? Definitely not. But 0 0.5 is not allowed. Okay, so 2. It'll tell you when something's not allowed and when something is allowed. So there's you got 2. Uh, bits of bottom margins and there's a lot of other stuff in here like auto hiding you can turn it off and on I currently have it disabled because I don't like auto hiding uh, you can change the dimensions and the appearance if you need to there's just a ton of stuff in here uh, mouse area so for clicking and hovering Showing tooltips, launch menu, yada, yada, yada. I, if I don't like it, I can just get rid of it like this. Way, hit save. Now there's no tooltips except for the ones that are on the actual applications. The one on the bar still has a tooltip, so I clean that up, I guess. Is pinned true or not? So you can right click and on pin things, and if something's not included, uh, you should be able to actually pin to the dock like that. And now it's pinned and you can unpin it from the dock, which is really cool. Now, the issue is that for some reason, the right click disappears pretty quick. You notice that. Um, and I don't know why. I think it's set to an arbitrary weird number in here somewhere. I, I mean, I need to map this out so I can read it better. And so other people can read it better. I'm not uploading these uh dot files at all considering how work in progress this is is pinned and then there's occupancy okay cool so that's for the separator and yeah then we got this file you know what let's get rid of this we're gonna just we're gonna do this instead so let's change this to two what happens if we change this to two Did it get thinner or did it get wider? I can never tell. But yeah, uh, full rounding, 
and mouse area behavior on color for animations and stuff. Images, icon item. So this is your icon size. So if you change it to bigger, it gets bigger, smaller, it gets smaller. And what actually happens if we turn this to false? Because I've read this is a problem, and this is the main reason why icons don't show. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to figure that out later. This is mouse button, right click, left click. Uh, hover over, mouse over dock, true for exit. And these are the active indicators. So again, this doesn't actually work in terms of radius. Did I break something? I think I messed something up and broke it. Turn that back to five. I tend to do that a lot. I tend to actually break things. Let's turn that back to 10. There we go. So yeah, uh, things actually do affect other things a lot. There's no real fallback for that. Here's the item tool tips. And yeah, there's a delay of, why is there a delay? Can we just not delay them at all? Thank you. That was annoying. I hate when there's a delay on things. Like I don't want a delay on my menu showing up, but there is one. So I'm gonna have to fix that and figure that out. And this is the active indicator dot. So again, I don't understand how it works. I wanna turn it into a dot, but I can't turn it into a dot. Horizontal center pair. Okay, that was probably why I can't turn it into a dot. And there's a bottom margin. So this sets it down below the icon instead of above the icon. So if I probably did this and this, yeah, so again, it brings it down below the icon. Which I don't really like as much as you think I would, so... What if I just set it to this? Because there's a lot of, you know, stuff there. Right? Because it's pushing down. I think that looks a little bit better. Uh, parent anchor to bottom. Hmm. I have to figure out how to change this. So you can change it to not being invisible. There's just so much stuff. So much. Now, this, I don't know what this does. I don't know what any of this does. Again, I took the dock from someone else. Auto close timer restart. Detect when the key is pressed and reset the timer on pressed. Okay, well, there's there's the main stuff. So, yeah, uh, still haven't found anything about this. So maybe we go back in here and we search the bar. Active window, battery, system tray, system tray right here. Okay. Uh, appearance, color subtext, text visible, length of zero. I don't think I see anything relating to why it's grayed out. Like it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Spacing should technically only be ten. Actually, let's try five. Five looks a little bit better than ten. Root bar, modem data, style, text. I don't want text. I want to know why it's grayed out. Let's try this. Because again, this and this are a part of one another. Uh, tray items, 10. Acceptable buttons, anchors, icon image. Desaturate. Go the fuck away. We do not deal. Oh, we can't get rid of it. Damn it. Okay, what did I do? Desaturate, tray icon, one. Okay, zero. Uh, but now it looks weird.
Can I do minus five? I can. Ugh. Let's do minus one. It still doesn't look right. There's something else. There's a cover color overlay for the saturation. So what if I change this to zero? And then I change this to zero. Oh. What if I change this to one? There we go. That was stupid. See, figuring things out just by trying is always the most important thing. I learned something today. The cover o color overlays and desaturation are stupid and they don't make things look any better than they actually are. That's annoying. All right, so this is the workspaces. And the workspaces is pretty cool uh, because as you can see, it actually shows you what's in the current workspaces. So if I move this over here, does it not change no more? Okay. Oh, there you go. See that? So now it changes. Okay, that's fair. So that's pretty interesting. I want to see where it initializes this, though. Again, so this is where we dealt with transparency. So if I did this. Oh, yeah, that just went completely transparent. That actually matches the bar a lot better. So system trays already like that, but where's clock? I'm going to try something. There's nothing there for that. Could I just copy this here? Into the clock widget somewhere? Where were you? You're in the middle of something. No, I doubt I could. I would have to probably write some stuff for it. Like, uh, maybe it's in something else. Is there one in here? Because again, that looked pretty cool. And look at this. So there's that part from right here. So technically, I could just pop that in there. No. Oh, it's expecting some stuff at the end. That's why. So right here. Nope. Again, still learning. Give me breaks. But I would like for the whole bar to look like this, if possible. I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah, so there's the background. Rounding, small, transparent, color layer, borderless. There's a whole bunch of stuff. There's a height too. Look at that. Um, on trigger position. I believe that it fully takes up now. So there's no real issues with it. What about the clock? Can we stack the clock? I think that would be cool if we could. Appearances, date, time. Yeah. So there's no weather, uh, which is a bit disappointing. But again, it is what it is. I don't like the fact that there's no weather, but I try to create a weather widget myself. I'm going to have to steal one from a friend of mine uh, to make sure that it all works out well. This is the bar. So there's transparency right there. I believe there's transparency right here as well. So if we change this to six, it looks even more transparent. If we do six, five is what I want to do. Now it looks even better. There's a lot of alignment stuff. There's fill width. And uh, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff here. So bar right side mouse area hovered scroll. There's events. Audio sync stuff. Reveal audio source muted false. Ethernet icon, which I tried to actually pull off, but unfortunately, 
It's not in there and it doesn't want to work. I don't know why the hell I put yellow. Should have been white. Yeah, so they don't have an Ethernet icon working yet. All right, I think we've talked for long enough about this. It's pretty cool, most definitely. I am going to be watching its progress a lot. It seems to be a little bit more efficient and faster than AGS. It also starts up and reloads a lot quicker as well. It auto reloads, which is nice. You don't have to constantly do control R to reload AGS. I like it. I'm definitely going to be redoing a lot of it again. So I'm probably going to be moving this down to the dock. I'm going to be getting rid of workspace. I might actually keep workspaces and just put it right next to this button over here. And then probably take these guys and this indicator and put it in the center like I did for my other one. I like that layout a lot more. It looks a lot cleaner. So let me know of your thoughts and opinions. Again, I will not be sharing this until it's done. So please keep that in mind. Okay. Doing this is a learning experience for me. So if you want to, I will link the pull request in the description below. You can go check it out. Follow uh, everything it requires you to do to get this running and that's it i'll see you guys next time